What's going on, you guys? This is Dimension Scott, back at you once again with a brand new video, and today I am continuing my Blu-ray Collection Breakdown Series, Episode 11. Before we get into today's video, if you're brand new to my channel and don't know what my videos are all about, I love talking about things I'm passionate about. Movies, Blu-rays, DVDs, video games, and also do Blu-ray hunting videos. If you're in all that type of stuff, you love physical media, like me, you come to the right place. If you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe for more if you like what you see. You can also find me on other social media platforms, Facebook and Instagram with the same name as usual, Dimension Scott. All right, it's been several weeks, but now I'm finally back continuing my entire breakdown, and we're down to the last section of blu-rays in my collection then i gotta go through my 4ks my steelbooks and dvds so shall we begin so starting off with my v's we have venom continue off with venom we have venom let to be carnage we have amelia clark in voices of the stone we have a classic here who framed roger rabbit some of the best cartoon crossovers i've seen in film history wonder woman in this digi digi book pack I brought this when it was originally released on physical media, and now I think I want a, um, a standard Blu-ray edition to go with the next one I'm about to talk about. So here, we have Wonder Woman Target Exclusive Digipack. Wonder Woman 1984. I know a lot of people hate this movie, but I, I feel like this movie has a lot of heart to it. It may not be on the same level as well made as the first one, but I think Wonder Woman 1984 for what it is is still pretty decent. The first X-Men. X2 X-Men United. One of the best sequels ever. We have an X-Men and Wolverine six film collection. You have X-Men, X2, X-Men United, X-Men Last Stand, X-Men First Class, X-Men Origins Wolverine, and The Wolverine. I wonder if I'll get any of the X-Men movies like individually, I'll see. You have X-Men Days of Future Past, The Road Cut. And in my opinion, this is the definitive canon cut of Days of Future Past. X-Men Apocalypse. Not as bad as people make it out to be. Uh, that Quicksilver sequence in the mansion scene is freaking awesome. X-Men Dark Phoenix. I don't care what nobody says, this movie is overly hated. Sophie Turner is awesome. The score is awesome. The action is awesome. Entertaining. My favorite masterpiece. Zack Snyder's Justice League. Restore the Snyderverse. Zombieland. Fun zombie movie. Emma Stone, Woody Harrelson. Uh, uh, what's his name? Jesse Eisenberg, and I can't remember the other girl's name, but Zombieland is a blast zombie film. And then we have the sequel, Zombieland Double Tap. Maybe just as fun as its predecessor. So there we have it, guys. What'd you guys all think? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe for my next episodes 12 and 13, where I go through all my 4Ks and steelbooks. But that is it for now. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys later. Keep physical media alive. Peace out.